Izzy, and I'm wondering where Caden is. Huh. Hello, my lady. I know it's you, Caden. Fine, all right. A message from headquarters. So headquarters wants us to make hidden spy IDs that include our fingerprints to prove that we are who we say we are. Okay, cool. Won't the mustache get in the way? Every spy ID has their fingerprints on it. For this, you'll need a graphite pencil, paper, and clear tape. Oh, and you'll also need fingerprints, but hopefully you've got that part covered. First, draw a box on a piece of scratch paper. Then fill in the box completely with a pencil. Draw over it again and again until there is a thick layer of graphite on the paper. Once a box is all filled in, rub a finger over the graphite. You may need to rub it back and forth a few times to get a solid coat. Next, cut a length of clear tape and put it over your finger. When you lift it up, your fingerprint will be perfectly reproduced on the tape. Now place that piece of tape on the paper and label it. You can do this again for each finger until you've done the whole hand. Once you've finished your own, you can do your friends, your brothers, your sisters, or anyone else who needs their identity established. Remember, anyone can be a spy. In order to stay on the down low, I'm gonna have to hide my spy ID in plain sight. I'll show you how to do it, so here's what you need. Spy ID template, which you can download in the description box below. A picture, but make sure it's a picture you can cut up. Self-adhering laminate, dissolving paper, tape, scissors, pencil, or pen. We'll start by making the ID. Just print it out and you're ready to start. I've got mine printed out already. Start by cutting out the template with a pair of scissors. Then you'll need a picture of yourself for the ID. Cut the picture to match the box in the ID. Now tape the picture to the template. Next, we'll add our thumbprint to the ID using the method Izzy just showed us. Just like that, but the ID isn't done yet. We have to write our name and then seal it. For that, you'll need this self adhering plastic. Basically, it'll laminate the ID without using any heat. Just peel back the top, lay the ID down inside, then fold the bottom over the back. Try to make sure that the top is even so that there are no bubbles. Once it's sealed, use the scissors to cut it out. Make sure to leave a border. And then your spy ID is complete. Next, you'll need dissolving paper. This is a little hard to find, so you're gonna have to ask a parent to order some online, but it's super cool. Put tape on the edge of the paper, then stick it on the ID. Try to make it as flat as possible so no one thinks there's more than one layer. Then write a note on it, something else entirely, like a grocery list. Milk, apples, dog food, spinach. Now you're ready to hand off your ID. When you're ready to show it, all you need is a bowl of water. Put your ID in the bowl of water, and the paper will dissolve away, revealing your ID. All right, Caden, that's who you really are? The chick is up. Now let's see that ID. Just look at this. It looks like a grocery list. Oh, uh, my bad. You just have to put it in water. Okay, I guess it checks out this time. To watch more DI Spy videos, to prove that I'm on your side, click here to the right. And don't forget to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for more great videos.